Welcome everybody to The Sin Adventure. I'm James Showers, cleanest name in the biz, and today we're joined with our scent specialist, Cuddles, the African Grey. We're going to be taking a look at ancient cosmetics today. They have soaps, hand soaps, and some body butters that we're going to be looking at in today's video. We'll set up all of the scents in a tier list, and of course, take a look at all the products. First up is the ingredients for this soap, and we get a shea butter, coconut, and some olive oil. Now that is a simple mix of ingredients for the soap, but they do feel nice in the shower, they lathered great, and the post shower feel is awesome too. Now guys, these did take quite a bit of time for me to get after I ordered them, and the soaps arrived soft and uncured. Now that really isn't a big deal, you can set them to the side and they will cure up and you can use them uncured as well. But overall, I'm actually really enjoying the bar soap from this company. Now, the foaming hand soap is a different story. I really do not care for this. It has a foaming lather that I normally really enjoy, but this one doesn't spread very well across the skin. And for some reason, the uh, tropical pineapple that I have also in the bar soap just doesn't smell the same in this hand soap. It just has a really synthetic scent to it and the soap has a synthetic feel. Now the ingredients aren't all natural. You do have a aloe vera juice inside here, but you also get some yellow number five and some other just lathering agents along with the fragrance. Unlike this bar soap, I probably would not recommend trying out this hand soap. I just really wasn't impressed. Guys, this body butter is actually fairly nice. I haven't used it too much, but it did leave my skin feeling soft and it did absorb into the skin quite nicely. We do get a simple mix of ingredients here with some shea butter, cocoa butter, coconut oil, and jojoba oil. And of course, it does have that fragrance oil as well. This one is a lime and ginger and it has a nice bright lime scent with a slight spicy ginger in the background. Guys, we're gonna use this to start off our tier list. This is nice, bright, uplifting scent. I think most people would actually really enjoy it. So we're gonna set it right here. Next one up is the fresh orange peel. They didn't have a box, but they sent it in this nice orange and polka dot bag. This is a solid orange bar of soap and it is a nice, fresh, uh, natural smelling orange. They sent me two of these bars actually. The first one was uncured and I used it and I absolutely loved it actually. I like the way this smells right now. I think I'm actually gonna put this right in front of the lime and ginger. Moving right along to the Breathe Easy Eucalyptus and Spearmint. This is a solid green bar, very nice uplifting, fresh, minty, eucalyptus uh, feel to this bar. This is a very nicely done eucalyptus and spearmint scent. I'm actually gonna put it in front of here. As much as I love this orange scent, I think this is just really fresh. I think people would actually really enjoy um, this right here. Moving right along to the blueberry and peppermint. Now this is one of the bars that came kind of deformed and I actually really like this. This is an interesting uh, scent combination here. You get this really juicy smelling blueberry. That peppermint is just enough to freshen everything up. You get a nice two-toned bar here, a light blue on the bottom and a dark blue on the top. And I think this is an awesome scent. I think most people are really gonna enjoy this. I think I'm gonna put this actually right in front of that orange scent. Next one to take a look at is this tropical pineapple. And this one has a pineapple and tropical scent. Uh, slightly synthetic, less synthetic than it was in the um, hand soap over there. I think I'm gonna put this, you know what, I think I'm actually gonna put this one last. It's, it's nice, but there's just something, something lacking there for me. Next one up in the lineup is this Delicate Rose. I think this is a very beautiful looking bar. They've got that pink, almost looks like a heart inside of a white uh, soap and they have rose petals sprinkled in the top. This obviously has this rose scent. It is well done. It's fairly light. It's not too overpowering or too thick of a rose scent. I think a lot of people would actually really enjoy this and it's also, like I said, a very nice looking bar. I'm gonna put this one right in front of the lime 
and ginger. Last soap to take a look at is this raspberry and vanilla. Now this is a fairly common scent among soap makers. The fragrance oil is really easy to find. I, I noticed everyone has a raspberry vanilla scent. So personally, this is kind of boring to me. Now, is it done well? Is it enjoyable? Yeah, it's all right. We get some raspberry. It's uh, sweet. It's kind of sugary. The vanilla is not coming through too strong here. It is a nice looking bar with the dark purple and the light purple all the way around it. I think I am gonna put this, actually, you know what, I'm gonna put this one all the way in the back. It just, it's just boring to me, to be honest. All right, that's my lineup here. These uh, top three bars are amazing. I love this orange one here. I think this is, you gotta put it in the cart if you're gonna place an order. We get a, a cool mix of blueberry and peppermint, and we get this very well done, fresh, uplifting eucalyptus spearmint now on the website these bars do range anywhere from $2.99 from $8 depending on what kind of deal they have going on sometimes they have a deal where you buy x amount of something and you will get five free soaps or whatever so you know take a look at the website see what kind of deals you can get i think this soap is definitely worth trying if you enjoy high quality soaps with great scents or if you're just looking for a gift for the missus, I think these soaps will definitely hit the spot. The body butter is excellent as well, but I would probably skip on this hand soap. I think I've probably said that enough in this video. If you guys have tried this brand, let people know what you think of them in the comments down below. Scent wise, product wise, all that stuff. Help everyone make a great buying decision. All right guys, that's gonna wrap this video up. Cuddles and myself, we'll probably see you on the next venture. Like, share, subscribe, and of course, peace.